Police last wanted Stephen Dye Stubbs in connection with the multiple shooting at a Mackey Street night spot last week. Today, he appeared in court on a totally unrelated charge. Tonight, Fern Carey tells us about the three years old charges 37 year old Stubbs will have to answer to. Scores of senior police officers, including heavily armed DEU officers, beefing up security at the Nassau Street Magistrate Court. The heavy police presence also seen on South Street, which was partially blocked off. This has alleged drug dealer Stephen Dye Stubbs appeared before the court to answer to an abetment to commit murder charge. The heavy police presence comes on the heels of the recent deadly shooting spree at Ballas Nightclub East Bay Street earlier this week. During the incident, nine people were shot, one killed. Following the incident, an all-points bulletin was issued for Stubbs. He was later arrested at his Richmond Park home. Police are also looking for another the man in connection with that crime. Meantime in court, Stubbs appeared calm as Magistrate Guillermina Archer formally charged him with purposefully aiding and abetting in committing the murder of Delano Morris back on August 21st of 2009. Morris was gunned down. Stubbs was not required to enter a plea and the prosecutor indicated that the case will be fast-tracked to Supreme Court by voluntary bill of indictment. Following the arraignment, Stubbs' attorney, Krista Smith, noted that he was in custody since May 30th. Smith also stressed that Stubbs has no previous convictions, adding that there were no witnesses to the alleged crime on the court docket. She also said she is displeased by the way the entire matter was handled, suggesting it is a deliberate attempt by police to keep Stubbs in custody. Meantime, Stubbs returns to court on July 4th when a voluntary bill of indictment will be filed. Karen Keery, ZNS News.